People utilize seller support for everything, but they don't understand at all how it works. The first thing that I'll say, the rules that I use to contact seller support when I have an issue. The first thing that you need to understand is the issue. That's the first step, breaking down the issue. Then what you're going to do in the second step is gathering all the information possible. You need to provide Amazon what they're asking you for. So when you gather the information and you have the big picture is when you're going to open the case. This could be either on an email or calling. Spend no more than five sentences explaining your situation. Another factor that you need to understand is that most representatives in seller support, their English is not their first language. So to make them more efficient, you should use simple language. And the last point is choosing the right department. When you go to the help page, you will see a space so you can put a blurb of what's your case about. I don't like to use that. I like to use the menu where they break down the issues. From that menu, I choose the right department that I want to talk with. In my experience, they don't really talk to each other much. That's why the first rule of, of the contact and sales support is breaking down the issue. Because probably you will have to create multiple cases with different departments in order to solve one issue.